It's the rundown. We're back on the ground. I love it. This is my first one back. Yesterday was the first official day back in the recliners. This is my first one. I can't be happier. Those, I mean, being up in the air in those awkward chairs. How fucking uncomfortable can you can you be? The I optics mean, were terrible. It was like dangerous being all the way up in, there. In 30 Rock, there was uh, a scene where they tried to make Couch Town. They tried to make couches to watch TV. And they said, like, the Israeli police said that, that's what they, that those are the couches they use for in, uh, interrogation. To make like, them so uncomfortable. That's what those chairs those are. Chairs. Like, it felt like, they you know, sit them in those for What so are those long. chairs? Where are those chairs actually used? You know when you've got, like, a viewing party and everyone's sitting on normal, like, couches in a living room and then you grab a bar stool from the yes. kitchen and try to sit in the middle of the room? Yeah. <laughs> you're, you're too it's high. Like, yeah, you're, awkward. like, looking around. And yeah, everyone's falling. looking at, like, your dick. You're your looking back down. back fucking hurts. Disaster. So we're back. This used to be a terrible set. Now this is like, oh, home at all. <laughs> this is great, right. Uh, that was the plan all along. Right, right. right. Now we're not going to stop complaining about this. Give him a real piece of shit. That's smart. It changed the, uh, the acceptable line. Eye level. Breaking it, it changed news. our eye level. It was 12 to 6. Breaking news. The office is coming to Broadway. Yeah, nah. Uh, it's not as great as it sounded at first. Well, I'm just using this for an ad, so don't worry about it. If you want to oh. go to Broadway and smart. see the office, go to SeatGeek. They sell all the tickets to every sort of live event you want. Sports. Uh, Broadway, comedians, concerts, anytime there's live events, they will sell the tickets. Uh, best price available, full transparency, full guarantee, no fraudulent tickets. So you'll save your money, you'll get to all the favorite, your favorite events, and you'll, uh, you don't have to worry about buying any fraudulent tickets. Download the free SeatGeek app, go to settings, add a promo code, enter rundown, you get $10 off your first purchase. So SeatGeek, promo code rundown, 10 bucks off. You don't have to go see The Office because you're a musical guy now, and you can go see any musical. Kevin's big in the musicals now. If you're just not a musical guy, you can't become a musical guy. Nope. I'm not a musical guy. Ah, yes. Fight Fred <laughs> no, is pushing yes. so are hard you, for you it. Are? Oh, you I are? Oh, I am. Big yeah, time. big time. I tried okay. to watch The Greatest I, I, I'm Showman I'm a big night. Broadway guy. I was I love like, Broadway. Uh, the Greatest Showman was not good. The, uh, Kevin, Kevin doesn't understand that like, musicals can have different style of songs. Like, I play him like, a good song. He's like, this is just a good song. It doesn't count. I'm like, well, it's from a good See, music. See, I'm no, no, no. dumb like Kevin. I would have just thought like, there's just a musical bunch that like, it all stinks. No, like, yeah, there listen. are bad comedies, and then there are no, funny but, comedies. Like, but like, right. musical songs are like where they're like singing, talking, and it's like a Les Miserables. You're playing me songs that are like, you Yeah, know, they played you Rent. Rent is like one of the most famous musicals of all time. Yeah, but that particular song was on a musical song. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll play you ten more from Rent, all just like that. Bangers. So then, Bangers. So maybe I just like Rent. Yeah. Maybe that's it. I also want to address, I'm dipping today, probably for the first time on the rundown ever. We've been out all day. I've been craving a dip. I haven't had a chance. I mean, you're an addict. It's fine. It's, it's what it is. That's, just, that's, that's what you do. It's can't wait for five hours to get I always cancer. take it out right before the rundown, but today, like, I just put it this in. This is a way more down. comfortable rundown. You, John's probably yeah, dipping. Totally. We're chilling in the recliner. Yeah, this is, we're back. It's nice. We're back, baby. Feels good to we be also, back. again, as per usual, when it's the three of us, have very questionable topics, so we'll see where we go. We have nothing to talk about. A right? Brinks truck. <laughs> we have none, but we have a lot. It's going to get weird. A Brinks truck on the highway. The doors opened up. 600 grand flew out the back. Everybody started collecting it up, and now the police are telling everyone to put the money back. They said, they'd be, put the money back or you'll be charged with theft. Come find me, coppers. Yeah. I Come guess. fucking find me. Yeah. I, I mean, was... I guess how much, it depends on how much I got. Like, if I, if I you know, if it's, well, I guess it doesn't. Because if I got like $100, I'm keeping it, because whatever. I was... And if I got a lot of money, I'm keeping it, because it's a lot of money. So either way, fuck you, coppers. Yeah, I was kind of curious, because it was on the highway, and it was like, it would take a lot for me to stop on a highway. To like, to do like Frogger. To and like, run out be and, running yeah. around like yeah. looking for scraps. Yeah. 600K is a lot. I didn't realize yeah. it was that much. Well, that was but how much first, was in the truck. I don't know how much went out there. At first, they were like, they people said, running, no, that was what came out, they said. People oh, were running around the highway picking up $20 bills. I was like, who are these fucking people stopping on the highway to pick up $20 yeah. bills? No, the, it's definitely something where, in theory, I'd be like, I definitely pull over, but like in the moment, I'd be like, ah, no, I just swear by the way, it's like right, it's a whole yeah. thing. I was picturing it like I'm gonna see in Bad Boys too, with the bodies just flying, yeah. they're throwing the guys full of ecstasy, <laughs> yeah. just oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like just do cars dodging yeah. bags full of cash. Eventually, like once one person stops, or like once two people stopped, the highway like, stops. Eventually, yeah. eventually it's just like you're running around, a, a, and, then, and, and then you get out, and you're like, oh, there's fucking money on the ground. Right, right, right. Yeah, I don't know, I don't know if I would stop. But I think, I think that whole thing where it's like you got to return it. No, no man, no. I won. No, yeah, like, yeah. I won. It's like it's like when they when the casinos say like, oh, the uh, slot machine was broken. Yeah. No, bitch, I won. Right. When like the ATM just starts spitting out cash and they're like, you gotta or return it. It's if you, if you ever money. like get overpaid no, at money. work, that's it. Yeah, you Sorry. fucked up. Yeah. That's on. That's mine. That's now. a one way street. That money doesn't go back. No. That money goes into my account and that's it. <laughs> or when they don't know that you work there, which would happen to me. Hey. Yeah. What, what I, 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 you about? were straight up. What's his name? Wilton or whatever from the Milton. office space. I think Milton? it's Milton yeah. with the stapler. Yeah. You were, there was you were a lot of good paid, replies. Just to be clear, right? Yeah, I was getting paid. Okay. <laughs> I was getting paid, and I've had benefits for like a year, and they're like, 
hey, we don't have you in this the system. This is clearly because they thought your name was Sam Riggs, right? Correct. Yes. And like a thousand percent. Correct. And have now, no idea what your last name was. Legitimately, like, how, how were you if you Google Riggs stuff? Barstool full name, the first thing that pops up is my full name. Yeah. It's on my Instagram account. I mean, it's everywhere. <laughs> So, but like you were getting a paycheck and you were getting benefits, but if they didn't know your last name, I don't know how that happens. Uh, you know, Kevin, I don't know. Don't ask questions. It's the Barstool difference. I don't yeah. know. Really One is. of my favorite lines in Barstool history is when K. Marco, years and years and years ago, this was when I lived in New York, so this is like eight years ago probably, Dave just didn't pay you guys for like two months, and K. Marco wrote, I'm pretty sure Dave just writes, K. Marco on an envelope in crayon, K. Marco, New York. Sticks it up. And <laughs> drops it in the mail. <laughs> It's entirely yeah, you know, possible. I mean, mm. yeah, I guess we've come a little ways since then, but not, <laughs> not, really. not that much. Further. Clearly, the people who are supposed to clean this place up <laughs> are just as dumb as we are. <laughs> yeah, which is nice, kind of nice. James Harden smacked a cell phone out of a fan's hand for talking too much shit. I like this. Like, the NBA is kind of fighting back. Like, Russ, Russ Westbrook was ready to kill someone the other day. James Harden. Like, you put someone, you put a fucking phone in someone's face, Well, you should, you should get to slop it out. You're still the worst flopper in the NBA. Just stay away. Get back to your seat. I was back here. Back he seat. just hit my phone. I hit him with them. Say what you want out of here, okay? I stood uh, right uh, here. They're also exposing all these fans as pussy. Did you fucking hear the guy afterwards? Oh, oh this like, one, no. Oh. Oh, well, no, I wasn't even, I, I'm allowed to stand here. I bought a seat, can, is it cool if I stand here? And the cop's like, dude, you can't, like, just, you're berating the player. You can't your harass a person. Over. He's like, he's the one that hit my phone. He hit my, they're, like, bitching, and it's like, yeah, no, same thing with the guy that. that flinched and, like, looked like he'd been fucking seen a death or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah, that dude, like, that dude turtled real fast. Right, the fans West turned their come up as such fucking pussies. Yeah, That's man, if you're going like. to heckle and you're going to, like, cross, like, cross the barrier to, like, basically the playing field, playing court, on the court, and you got to trust the You're barrier. You the know the that, fans like, who think that they pay because they bought a single ticket, it means they're like a part owner of the team, right. are the biggest fucking idiot assholes in the whole world. Like, like I have general the right rules to and laws. Deal. I have still the apply. right to do this. Like, dude, you bought a forty dollars ticket. Shut yeah, the fuck up and sit out of here. You're not like Get I pay lost. your salary. Yeah. No, you don't. You have a jersey and a ticket, and you buy a few beers. Right. Get, Get the fuck lost. out of here. You get to yell at me. You suck yeah, a dick. Now that whole thing is. Uh, I, I I mean I'm actually for it. Like. I just think it should be like all fair game. Like I, I want fans to keep doing this, but I want James Harden to be able to like fucking punch you in the yes. face. Yes, yeah. Like right. let's go. No, I, I, I want to get and, like feel and have some beer muscles. Let's do it. But I just want you know everyone to be able to retaliate. I want to slowly inch back to a place where we're we're back at Mouse at the Palace. Oh, well, that, that one ass. day if we can get back there. I watched the Mouse at the Palace so drunk, and I remember being like, "Is this really happening right now? <laughs> Holy shit!" <laughs> Um, I'll be perfectly honest. I wrote poop on the card here, <laughs> and I don't quite remember the story. Tommy, can this you is help the me only story I read. So it's a this superintendent. This is the only one I All know. Right, fill it in. Fill in final break. Well, I, I exaggerated by saying I know it. Um, a guy at a football at a high school in New Jersey was uh, pooping next to a football field daily until they set up security cameras and caught him. Why? Why was he doing it? Yeah, oh, I, like don't a freak. I don't think they, I don't think the guy was quoted in the news story. Shitting outside in anything other than a toilet is not like an enjoyable process. Yeah, I mean India, they have a whole thing. No, it sucks. Right? It absolutely sucks. You go up to an Indian and you offer him a toilet. They're like, "Thank you, fucking so much." <laughs> I thought this guy. I've been looking like... for one of these my entire life. It's all I wanted. <laughs> all I've ever wanted in my life was a fucking toilet to shit in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm tired of digging holes you, and burying it. Uh, <laughs> back like a it. fucking cat. <laughs> if you were a hole guy forever, imagine how nice a toilet would have. Oh, it's literally a throne. It becomes oh, a throne to you. Like, this I mean, this is this is just doing. a straight spite move. Like if you poop on the same spot every day, other than a toilet, you're just trying to poop on somebody's literally like poop on their walk to work. I thought he said he was like the super of. I the, thought it was a superintendent. Super yeah, superintendent. So, it was the superintendent who was doing it? Yeah, yeah. the superintendent. <laughs> so he's probably like someone on the cleaning staff that he fucking hated that had to right. like clean just up like, the shit. He's just sick right. of the fucking kids. Like the kids has been annoying him all so, like his whole life. I think once you realize he's the super, it makes a lot more sense. Like he's <laughs> shit right next to the football field. He fucking hates this place. <laughs> hates it. That that totally changes everything. Cause like <laughs> I could just shit on the sidewalk outside Barstool HQ every day. Right. 
<laughs> Which I probably could starting to make here. a lot of sense. I'd do that. I'd do that in a heartbeat. Starting to make a lot of sense. Like shit right next to YP's desk every day or something. <laughs> That'd be great. <laughs> yeah, I'll shit right outside of Dave's office. He'd pull the old Todd Packer. <laughs> and then, I mean, the guy's probably in meetings too with people. Like, who do we think shitting out there? Yeah. He's like trying to break it down and all that. It was a it's real fucking it's, time. It's That's some Heisenberg shit. He's right. like, I'm pulling no. the strings behind the scenes. It, it's some. Uh, it's some fucking always sunny. Who pooped the bed? Oh yeah. When Dennis, Den uh, I mean Frank is just like, it was, it was me. me. I did it. Yeah, I did all the poops. <laughs> Why? Because poop's funny. Uh, poop I, I do like. I do like how they, they charge them. They, they charge them with littering though. Like you can imagine, like the cops trying to just put all their heads together. Like, what can we charge this guy with? So, so with littering. So we can't leave here in 48 hours, or 72 hours, whatever. It we is. gotta hold him on. We gotta Sunday. keep him. All right. Serial littering. shitter. He's all been right. littering poop all over the place. <laughs> We got this Facebook technician who's a full-blown creep going around on Tinder, looking girls up, basically seeing all of their info because he has like the behind-the-scenes dashboard access of Facebook. Basically, I think using it to like hit on them, which I think is maybe the worst tactic I've ever heard in my life. Tough one. Like, hey, I'm, hey, I'm stalking you and watching you and creeping on you. Isn't I got cool? pretty deep on the Facebook thing like last week. I listened to a podcast and they're talking about everything that Facebook actually does yeah. and logs on you. And it was like every single time you ever log into Facebook. It like it jots down all of your coordinates and everything every single time you ever pull it up. So it just gets this perfect pattern of knowing exactly where you're gonna be and when. And then but how like the this. microphone. I, ha I have to log in, or like I'm just always like if I logged in once, my phone's like. No, it's like in. anytime you use, it. like anytime yeah, you okay. pull up Facebook. That's good. Um, but you want like you also if you have it like the refresher thing in the background and stuff. That's what like, I'm saying. Like if it's just if it's just running all the time and like logging where I'm going. And, what and then I'm so I started doing this. You know, again I'm going down this fucking Facebook hole. I'm getting into it, and they're like, yeah. You can download your own file on yourself. And they've, kept, yes. they've kept since, since right. fucking day one. Did I'm like, oh, that? okay. So I download the file, it's and it like takes grade. a couple hours, and it like converts it into something that like normal human beings. What can takes read? a couple hours? Because it's all this like fucking like day. Like that's, that's what I mean. Right. Like how yeah. like 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 even like 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 full movies, three seconds. It's Dude, hours to download just fucking text. And files? They gotta convert it into like human fucking form so you can check it out and all that. So then next thing you know, I pop up this folder and it's got like photos, messages. Well, so I click on messages and it's like messages from like college. Like when I was like, Yo. you would like Facebook message a fucking chick that you didn't actually have numbers stuff like that. I was reading these being like, holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> it, was not, it was not good. So anyways, this story. Yeah, I mean, this, this guy, guy has all the dirt. Yeah, he has everybody. all the See, dirt on these girls. I like it. You do? Well, I, I don't like it as a girl. Like, I'm sure it yeah. scares girls off. This is some Dennis Reynolds shit. But we've talked about this with KFC Radio, where, like, when a, like, if a girl like, listens to KFC Radio and she's, like, still, like, talking to me, yeah. I'm like, you know all my fucked up shit. So, and like, you're okay with it. And you're okay with it. So, like, almost, that's almost like telling a girl, like, look, I know everything. everything about you. I know everything, and I still like you. And I'm still, so, I still want to have So it's creepy. To, it's definitely creepy to say. But a part of you has got to be like, look, he knows all of my skeletons and he still wants to fuck me. I mean, That's I almost just spun right off the planet with that spin zone right there. <laughs> it's not a bad I'm actually romantic. Thinking, this is the other way around. If a chick was like, I'm a fucking, you know, technician at Facebook. I know everything about you. All that. I'd be like, tell me more. Like, That's interesting. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? And you're, like, you're still taking the time to talk to me. You know, yeah, like, but that all is kind of them. like a guy, a girl to guy thing. Like, like we're pieces of shit. Yeah, because like she that. can't kill me. Or rape me. Yeah, that's always yeah. kind that's, of the X factor. That's a good point. There's always that, you know, she, she can kill me. She thing. can't rape me. We're way stronger than that. Probably. I don't you can't rape the willing. <laughs> it's like the, same, the cannibal cop did the same thing. Oh yeah, the cannibal cop was like, I eat humans, and all the girls were like, I still love you. He's like, well, you guys are. They know. They know my deepest, darkest secrets, and they're still in for the ride. That's let's, on them. Let's fuck. It's yeah. on them. Whatever That's happens not. after that. Right. Uh, you yeah. signed up for this, babe. We got this uh, Proud Boy. I can't keep up with the protester no. wings and groups anymore. Proud Boy is like basically alt-right, I think. Uh, trying to rip a, a, a pro-immigration sign. And he's like struggling. He's got the double gloves on. And the liberal cucks are just filming him, just laughing their fucking dicks off. You work so hard. You're so close. Wait, wait, wait. I want a video. You're so. Oh, the other way. You gotta, I think I gotta do it again. There you go. Uh, oh. You can do it. You'll get it. You've been working. You've been doing a lot of arm work at the gym, right? This is. Do it. Do it. You know, this is, a, this is a very educated city. There's a lot of engineers in this city. You can get a lot of help. 
That's a good talk. That's you a can't good do talk. it. <laughs> you know, Amazon's down the street. They got a lot of engineers who could help you. <laughs> hey, genius, why don't you take the lid off? Yeah, yeah. Take the lid off. To pry it open. There you go. You needed a liberal to help you with that, dude. You're too, too fucking stupid to figure it out on your own. Go throw it away. No, please. You've worked so hard. Throw it away. You've worked so hard. We've done it together. Making fun of him for not being able to rip this sign. They actually help him. Like, why don't you take the, the lid off the garbage can and you just throw it right in? He actually listens to them. <laughs> then he goes on Facebook afterwards and he says, like, oh, I didn't care. I wasn't upset. By the way, I have ADHD and I'm autistic, so you can't make fun of me. And everyone's like, go fuck yourself, dude. I, I can't keep up, man. I don't know who's who. I don't know who's good or bad. I really could not keep up with this one because... I thought he was like pro gay at first, like proud That's boy. What I mean. Proud boy sounds like a very pro gay thing. Yes. But then it turns out he was alt right, and the sign he was ripping was was it's like rainbow. rainbow and I was just yeah, like, but it What's only happening? said it said no in and, and rainbow. It said no and then, and then after that, it said yes. Yeah, like no, fascism. in the name of humanity, we refuse to accept the fascist America. I thought fascism right. was that is, alt right. Fascism is bad. So, so like yeah. refusing to accept fascism. Oh, well, oh so he was, he was saying he wants to accept that. Yeah. Oh, all right. It okay. took me a long time, time to get but that. But still, yeah, I just can't, tough. you know, the whole thing's a convoluted mess now. Yeah, I think, I mean, you got to abandon the rip pretty quick, right? You just stop on it or... One, one try. One try with the rip, maybe oh. two, but you can't. I mean, I mean he's trying to is, rip... That thing was clearly, like, indestructible. I don't know what it was made of, but he was giving it his all. <laughs> right. I mean, that thing is not I mean, ripping, You can't pal. just rip, like, a billboard in half. So, like, at this <laughs> right, point... that's what I mean. Yeah, I don't it's know. It's like a phone book. You're not going to rip that in half, bro. It was a weird move. And the fact that now, I guess I'm all, like, inceptioned about who the fuck was on what side and all that, because I was thinking... No offense to, you know, the gays or whatever, but I was thinking, like, oh, this guy can't rip this sign. That makes sense. <laughs> like, that's well, that was highly offensive. <laughs> that was uh, super stereotypical and insensitive. But, like, I, you know, I, don't, I, just, I, I thought you going, you can't rip the willing was going to be the line of this. I guess nope. I would take that one. Might be the one. Oh, I, I don't know. I didn't <laughs> think that was like crazy. And here we are. It's a rigged fight over a Clancy rundown. To be fair, you can't rip the willing was in reference to me. And what? That was yes. a reference to me. Yes. Yeah, I'm, I'm and you willing. are the willing, and you cannot be raised. Yes. You would think <laughs> that like the fascist guy would be able to just destroy the sign pretty quickly. I don't know. Apparently not. Soft mm -hmm. liberal uh, snowflake cucks. Yeah, big time. Bunch of beta like, boys out there. He, he was even wearing like gloves. If you were wearing gloves, you better be a fucking tough guy. Whatever. Yeah, the double whatever like, you're doing. Gloves. Gloves. Yeah, it, was it, just... it mean like you to because because they mean you're such a sissy. So like you better be that. Like someone in the gym wearing gloves. But like this guy, I think he looked like. To be fair, I think he looked like a cyclist. I think he, yeah. he had a bike right next yeah. to him. He had gloves on him. Oh. I think classic, you, classic cyclist. Are you willing to kind of bring this back up? Right <laughs> now? I want to start that up, pal. <laughs> Summer's just starting, man. You want a nice, oh man, they're gonna be nice, everywhere. I just, I just 90 degrees out today. One day I'm gonna catch a chain, to, like a fucking padlock. On the end of a chain to the head being swung like a mace, <laughs> which has happened to me before. <laughs> You've been hit with not, a, not by a cyclist, by, by a friend. By an ex-girlfriend. By a buddy of mine. And, like, we were like, in elementary school in the woods just fucking around. You're just like, whoosh, 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 boom. <laughs> You're I a just, fucking cowboy. Like, yeah. You just <laughs> never know. Like, Feilberg used to just go to the woods and have, like, gladiator fights with his buddies. Yeah, no big deal. <laughs> Idiot. Just not surprising. My man Elon Musk. This fucking, this, this overrated do-nothing bum. <laughs> uh, Tesla has lost two billion dollars in valuation because he was on a sales call, an uh, earnings call, and uh, he called someone a bore. He said this is boring and called someone a bonehead. Uh, two things. One, I don't know how you lose two billion dollars for that. Something else is going on. You don't lose two billion dollars in valuation because you called someone a bonehead. How much is Tesla worth? I don't know. They don't even sell any fucking cars. Right. Every so every every quarter, I see a report that's like, ah, oh, they didn't actually sell that many units, so. That's but right. everyone's on Elon's dick. I was like, they can just be down $2 billion. Yeah, like, are they into the negatives now? Because I didn't right. think they were worth That's $2 billion be, yeah. at the beginning. I mean, they make spaceships, so they probably... Does would. Tesla make spaceships? I thought that was SpaceX. SpaceX. But like, yeah. isn't that, like, is Tesla's, that an offshoot of Tesla? You know, I, mean, I don't all know. Musk, but... I, th I know it was Musk, but yeah, I thought like... Tesla was just the place that's supposed to make the electric cars that just doesn't do they it. They just don't <laughs> sell any because they they're stupid. them and don't sell them all the time. But the f uh, my second point is like, even Elon Musk is sitting on like a conference call just like, fuck this. Yeah. They're a fucking bonehead. Dude, that's like, something I've like, since we moved to New York, it's something we've had to do a lot more. Yep. Just like sit on our meetings and conference calls. That is Lowers. the biggest waste of time ever meetings, in the meetings, history meetings, of history. Meetings, meetings. It is insane. Like everyone, everyone involved in the call is just sitting there, like, yep. just heads in their fucking hands. Yep. Like this needs to end right now. <laughs> We're literally doing nothing. Yep. We're just saying the just same. Talk. Dude, circles. we had we had a call the other day for like merch. This is the third time in a row we've had the same exact fucking phone call. Yep. 
I mean, we, I used to do it with the podcast before we had a sales team. I was the one on those calls. We were like, yeah, we're going to let, let you know about our product. And I was like, yeah, man, it's fucking underwear. Like, I get it. I, mean, I don't need all the 30 minute call about it. I get how underwear works. I've been wearing them my whole life. I almost think anything said on a conference call should come with full immunity. Because it's like everybody's fucking. Everyone, yeah, I mean, you're, you're, you're. Everybody's angry, checked you're out. Aggravated. People are upset, yeah. pissed off. You don't know when it's on mute. You don't know when it's not yeah. on mute. Yeah. It should be anything that's You could, you could tell your like, boss, fuck you, and then it's like, sorry, right. I was on a conference. Like, no, yeah, correct. Yeah, exactly. And and so, like, like, to lose $2 billion, I'd be like, I was on a conference <laughs> call. <laughs> was a conference that doesn't call. count. Yeah. This wasn't even, like, it wasn't like a press conference. It was a conference right. call. Dude, the people, the, the people selling this are like people I wouldn't even want invested in my company. Like, yeah, I called true. someone a bonehead. You're selling good. Get the fuck. That's out like of when here. like uh, someone's like, I'm unfollowing you. I'm like, good. You're yeah. not. I don't want you anyway. Your kind is not welcome here. Right. You're unfollowing me because of. Oh yeah. yeah. See, then, you later. see you later. Smell you. Uh, e bombs world. This is, we're into the after show now. E bombs world still exists in 2018, which I am thrilled to hear because e bombs world is like a part of my heart. It basically made me the person I am today. Uh, it kind of makes me sad to hear, for being honest. What? That it's still alive today, because I just didn't know that, and that's sad. Yeah, it's like like you're that little e bombs world. Like you right. were what got us through high school. Like e bombs world was just a sitting in the computer lab of the game. Yeah, yeah, I was kind of happy they're still around. I, I'm happy, but it makes me sad. Like they that, should like, they should be like competing with us. And they're like, yeah, oh, I didn't even know you guys. Were no, so I kind of like that they've just always been the same. Kind yeah, of, I feel like just like they're like they're you know. practically dark web. They're like as close to dark web yeah, as you get. Right. I watched one time on e bombs world, a deaf girl get fucked. And it was the most outrageous thing I've ever seen. I watched she'd never her. heard someone moan, so she had no idea how to moan. So she was just, she sounded like Chewbacca. It was, it was like, arr, arr. I guess it's more of a dying man than, a, than Chewbacca. But the number of people By the way, who are Can't Read the Willing is now in third place. <laughs> Gay comment is in second place. You are taking on the gold. Oh, oh man. E Bombs World wrote. So many groups are going to be mad at us for this show. E Bombs World has <laughs> put out an article with Dave's pizza review from the other day, which has gone like actually viral outside the Barstool has world. It? Yeah, it's on like Reddit, and uh, the title was New York Douche Tries to Review <laughs> Pizza on a Crowded New York City Street. Because, I mean, that pizza Not review. Not wrong. That was going to say, no, where, I mean, that's, that's where's that's the, where, where do we want him to correct something? Yeah. Uh, I didn't know they even wrote articles or anything, but shout out to E-Bombs World for roasting Dave, the New York douche. I mean, that's, you know, that's Dave. Dave is a New York douche now. Yeah. He was a Boston king, and now he's a New York I, douche. I remember the first time we had a meeting. It was before we even ever, like, moved to New York or anything like that. It was, like, uh, Dave was living here. I think maybe we were doing Caroline's show, Couchella. And we remember we went to, it was, like, the first time we met Erica. Yep. Uh, and it was, like, we went to dinner, and Keith was, like, it's at the most... New York douche. This is it was a nice a spot. Big to time tourist trap. It was. It like, was. Uh, and from then on, it's been like. Fuck. What was the place? It was that sushi place. It was terrible. Budokan. Budokan or whatever. Yeah, <laughs> it was so bad. This says, uh, you know what? Props to this guy, standing there getting harassed at every turn. He just wanted to review his pizza on the busy sidewalk. But yeah, New York douche tries to review busy uh, pizza New on a busy York sidewalk. New York douche tries I mean, to review pizza. that pizza review. <laughs> I I don't I know they, that they, should go like on his fucking tombstone. <laughs> <laughs> New York douche tries to review pizza. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Like, That's what, what does Dave Portnoy do it's here? Absolutely. <laughs> 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 Ended on uh, that note. That's, that's, that's the elevator pitch for Portnoy these days. So we got PMT, and they do satire on sports, and then we got KFC Radio doing the hypotheticals, and Ford played us golf, and then we got this New York douche who tries to review pizza. You don't even give him reviews pizza? Tries. Tries. To review pizza. Tries. <laughs> oh, that's perfect. Uh, All right, that's the oh, <laughs> Well done.